Good day from ChemHelp ASAP. Let's now learn how to incorporate a new functional group, uh, two new functional groups actually, alkenes and alkynes. So uh, in all of our molecules so far, we've had a key suffix up in the upper right. We've had ane, A-N-E, to indicate that we're dealing with alkanes. But now we're going to change our suffix to indicate that we have alkenes or an alkyne. So this molecule that's drawn on the left, it's a molecule I believe we've seen before. It's simply a heptane, seven carbons, and we have a methyl group at the two position. So this is 2-methyl heptane. There's nothing new in that structure. But now, in the second structure, let's put a double bond in this structure. This is now an alkene. And alkenes are a, are a higher priority functional group than a, a branched methyl group. So now we're going to number instead from the right, not from the left. And that means our poor methyl group, it's stuck with the sixth position. But that doesn't matter because the alkene gets its first choice. So this will be 6-methyl. Now we have to tackle this, this chain. So this, this is no longer a heptane, it's a heptene. Furthermore, the double bond could be in a lot of different places. So we have to specify the alkene is in the 1 position. So we call this 1-heptene. And the 1 is referring back to what is the lowest number carbon of the heptene. It's not 2 heptene, it's number 1. You number it from the first carbon where you encounter it. Now, here we have another example. This is not going to be a simple alkene, but it's a diene. And we're going to number it on the right, because no matter which way we number it, the al an alkene gets the one position, but this way we also give the branch as low a number as possible. So now we're going back to 2-methyl. And now we have two alkenes, so we're going to have to number our two alkenes. Our alkenes start on number carbon number 1 and carbon number 6. So this is going to be 1, 6. We separate our numbers with commas. 1, 6. This gets a little strange. It's not heptdiene, but the, the T and the D are weird together. So we keep an A, hepta diene. And so we know we have a diene, so we need two numbers to indicate that, and we do. We have a 1 and 6. So now let's look at alkynes. Alkynes are much like alkenes. We just use a different suffix. In fact, this name is going to be almost identical to the second structure's name. This is also going to be 6-methyl 1-hept, not en, but that indicates we have a triple bond. A triple bond where? Right at position 1. And so finally we have this last molecule. It has an alkene and an alkyne. Now, only one of those can have priority. As it turns out, the alkene gets priority. It has nothing to do with the methyl group. It's just that alkenes are more important than alkynes. So the alkyne shows up at uh, carbon 6. So let's see what how this looks. So uh, first we'll take care of the methyl group. 2-methyl. This is going to be an enine to make things odd. And so the alkene we'll put out in front. It's heptene. And now we've got to squeeze a number in between. It's a 6 Ine. Because we can't put the 1 and 6 out front because then it's like, does the 6 go with the ene or the ine? Well, you, you, you squeeze it in the middle. So this is how we handle alkenes and alkynes. And of course, we're going to encounter a lot of alkenes, especially alkenes, in this course. So we need to know how to handle them, talk about them, and name them.